I didn't understand a word of what you just said. From your stunned look, it's clear that what I've said went right through your head. What did you say? See what I mean? Are you mocking me? Yes, I am. <laughs> What's up? It is me. Today I'm going to confront beautiful woman for you so you can learn how to develop your social skills. Let's begin. With this first technique, when she says something nasty, you first acknowledge, remaining cool, always look them in the eyes, and then reply back by amplifying what they have just said. You can go both ways, either minimizing it like to an absolute minimum or the same way, Maximizing it to an absolute maximum. I'll give you some examples. I don't date small people. You should see me when I'm on my knees. Do you do that somewhere else? Only on Fridays, but for attractive girls. Are you saying I'm not attractive? Do you feel insecure? Oh! You should see me when I'm standing. Go stand somewhere else. Only on Fridays for attractive girls. Are you saying I'm not attractive? Do you feel insecure? Oh! I don't date front people. You should see me when I'm floating. Else. Only on Fridays for attractive girls. Are you saying I'm not attractive? Do you feel insecure? Oh! I'm optimized for space efficiency. For me, everything seems to fit better. Go do that somewhere else. Only on Fridays for attractive girls. Are you saying I'm not attractive? Do you feel insecure? Oh! I don't date people with big noses. You should see me when I'm giving people directions. <sighs> Go direct people somewhere else. Only on Fridays for attractive girls. Are you saying I'm not attractive? Do you feel insecure? <laughs> Another way of dealing with situations like this is by asking open-ended questions. I'll give you some examples. Shy. I'm fine. Were you hoping for an opera singer? <laughs> I'm sorry if I offended you. Are you upset? I'm fine. When you are insecure like this, are you hoping for people to start crying and sink like the Titanic? Are you mocking me? Yes, I am. Here, the whole idea is to manipulate the conversation in your favor by changing the dates around. This will have people start becoming insecure because you are manipulating the conversation. You are showing that you start gaining control of what they had just said. The whole idea here is to use what they have just said back to them, but using another day of the week. I'll give you some examples. <laughs> you are such a star. Only on Fridays. The rest of the week, I'll shine even brighter. <laughs> You are such a star. Only on Fridays. The rest of the week, I live with the lights off. So we got you on a good day. You got me on a great day. I'm even better on Saturdays. 
This third technique is what is called the pressure flip. Here the trick is to use exactly what she has just told you and turn it back around against her but using a basic human need like hygiene, wealth, health and so on. I'll give you some examples. Mm -hmm. I bet you say that to all girls. What? That I like to eat healthy? What? You have a problem with food? Do you feel insecure around people that take care of their hygiene? Why? You don't bathe? Do you have a problem with people with good balance? Do you feel insecure around people with brains? I don't date corporate guys in suits. Do you have something against people that can afford a good quality of life? Technique number four is sarcasm in regards to either sex or you ditching her on the spot. Here the communication is a bit blunter. The key point here for you to notice is the unavailable party or potential situation occurring between both. There are three types of situations. Mirroring, related to sex in an indirect way and exaggeration. I don't date married guys. I'm not interested in marrying you. Oh, I'm married. Mm hmm. <laughs> I have a boyfriend. Sure, have him over on Friday. He can watch. Oh! Cool, have him over on Friday so he can move my stuff to my new house. My boyfriend has a deep voice. Are you dating Darth Vader? Investment banker. When was the last time you asked him for money? <laughs> Technique number five is to deal with aggressive people. There are some women when they become aroused, they become more aggressive. And you start noticing this on their body language and the way that they start speaking to you. You'll notice that they are not being flirtatious, but they are being more aggressive and they are completely exaggerating things out of proportion with your communication and become way too exaggerated over nothing. They are attracted to you, but instead of having a pleasant conversation and showing signs of being flirtatious, they start showing signs of aggressiveness. Think about this. Why are they behaving this way? If you notice this, here are some techniques that you can use. Are you always this fast? Yes, but other things I like to take my time, if you know what I mean. No, I, I don't know what you mean. Somehow, I don't doubt that. I'm an economist, engineer, doctor, lawyer, it really doesn't matter what you say because her most likely response will be something like Boring. 
and you will reply by saying, from your stunned look, it's clear that what I do for a living goes right through your head. <laughs> this is a typical one. They start placing themselves as a victim and saying that they didn't understand what you said. I didn't understand a word of what you just said. From your stunned look, it's clear that what I've said went right through your head. What did you say? See what I mean? Are you mocking me? Yes, I am. <laughs> start practicing these techniques to start gaining control over your conversations. Remember that your brain is a sponge and wants to help you to survive. The problem with most people in social encounters is that they don't have enough data points or practice in order to deal with the situation. So when people tell them something, they are not expecting them to say that to them so they don't have a response, so they get anxious and they get aggravated. Here what we are doing is essentially homework. You are practicing comebacks to typical situations that you might encounter so that the next time that you face a situation like this, you'll see that your brain will help you, will kick in and provide you these answers on the spot and it look seamless. And the reason why is that you practiced this before. If you enjoyed today's video, remember to subscribe and smash that notification bell in the face so you'll know when I post more videos like this. Peace.